I'm going with liquid. I'm also probably going to lean liquid, but I'm <laughs> curious to get some other opinions on yep, this. Can't really keep it in no there, uh, attacking the Ember. He's, no Tail's doing a good job of uh, He's even using cold feet on the boar and then just using his chill touch. He actually gets a kill on it there. And it's a significant amount of experience. And they've gotten pulls already down bottom too. So you see their lane is at least getting a lot of XP. As Mid lane. Oh. I mean, I said I thought it'd be even, but Quake for turning up big time. I mean, here we have it. You know, the Beastmaster, Boxy steps forward. They throw it down. Cold feet, he's got a probe, but he has the ink swell on him. The stun will connect on Samael, but Boxy, he'll fall. Samael also getting... Very, very low himself. Insania's trying to finish him off. He's juking through the trees, but indeed the ball vision will allow Insania to set up and get the kill. At the same time, up top, Liquid were also able to make moves in onto Seb, having that higher level. The yeah, extra point in the balance strike, meaning they had the nuke damage to burst him down. Mid lane, again, Quite mid one. He's having a back ride up. Yeah, that, that sort of first kill, it's done to spiral out of control. koifa has got the level advantage. This level three Shikuchi, you know, it hits, it hits pretty hard. And you've got a decent mana pool nowadays. You know, you get these two Wraith Bands to, to be pretty liberal with the way that you just hit the Dazzle constantly with Harass. And I think that is, yeah, so for sure, a little bit of a worry for OG. Is their lineup definitely requiring momentum? I mean, any lineup that is sort of built around a mid-Dazzle mid is going to need it. And Sadia? He'll dies the cold feet. Boxy's going to try and find a kill in return. He's on top of No-Tail with the Ink Swell stun. The ball slowing him as well as Boxy doesn't want to dive too far. The tower starts Good to hit on him and he backs away and indeed he's in trouble. Samael, chains connection, cuts him out with a slide of fist. So whereas the other two lanes may have seen some fortune for Liquid, this bottom lane, OG cleaning up both of them. I think Boxy just playing his hand a little bit too much there, just playing too far forward. Whoa. Top lane, Seb's in trouble again. They're slowing him down. TP's come in, but he's already been burst slowed by the Boundless Strike. Seb will fall. Top of that set. And he's making a move. He's actually TPing bottom. Well, yeah, Poxy, he's already gone down. They are going to try and find a kill in return. As you say, with these TPs, they can get revenge. They roll in onto some mail. They'll get both of them. No tail is surrounded. Quite for getting the double. Oh, he tried the time lapse back to mid, I think. So he's about to get chased. And Frank, he does hit level 7, so he has Grave now available. He's not he even going to use it. Not even gonna use it. A little surprising. He had a lot of mana. Uh, I mean, well, uh, he would put off. that down to ping, I'm sure. You know. Yeah, he had a fairy fire too, so you know something. Yeah. You know, oh, yeah, mid one is instead have too much impact. Koifa will have that regen being taken away from him by Saxa, and Koifa's yeah. moving over to help out Tiger. Seb has been found. He's trying to get himself a little bit of safety here back in the jungle. This time, the grave will come in time onto Seb. Seb goes for the TP out. They will have the stun to cancel it, though. Seb gets held back. It will fall. They'll turn over towards Saxa. Quite for ready to clean up more. Now has to time lapse out and doesn't quite have enough damage to kill off the Rubik. So Saxa will live. But now Samael is in. Samael, he has a remnant prepared. Oh, back by the, the tier two. <laughs> well, indeed, knocked down Mickey on the way past, which was a good job. Otherwise, Mickey really struggle to hold him down and now back and towards mid, mid they're in our mid one of course grave still on cooldown after using it to save seb he's got no way to keep himself alive this time liquid bullying both the, the mid lane and the top lane bringing all fear four heroes into this sort of area og are coming out with the smoke samel's going to try for a setup but liquid they've got a lot of people here if they want to try and out tiger tiger will fall and maybe they could get more as they go over towards mickey even though liquid I have a few here. Can they actually take this fight? They're trying for Saxa, but Samael jumps in with the remnants. And Zenny has the ink swell upon him. Samael still got two remnants to play with. Another slider fist brings Mikhail low. Not quite enough to kill him. They're looking for Quaifa. As Quaifa is very low on the mana, actually. No availability for a Shikuchi, but he's out of range. Samael, does he want to try and chase over onto enemy territory? He certainly does. He gets a slight change combo. But still, Insania and Tiger are by Quaifa's side. So OG won't dive any further. Takes that bounty rune away from Liquid. No now tail. down bottom, Liquid, they will find no tail, but the AI Ice Blast does come out. So Mail's a little too low on mana to capitalize on it and try and finish off these kills, so no one will die to this Tiger. It should be fine, living just above the threshold. Maybe. Why not? You know, it's... I mean, maybe. Yeah, no. I mean, late. Yeah. Yeah. There we go, the setup's there with the snowball. They're looking for Saxa, but Saxa's able to turn with the lift onto Tiger, coming in with a side of fist. So Mail takes down the tusk. So Mail. You know, you can feel him, the power. He wants to fight, and he's going to look for potentially more here. And Ice Blast doesn't hit, though, so... Doesn't want to go further. And again, just constantly using the Slider Fist. This maxed out Slider Fist that is harassing them. Koifa moves in onto Samael, but Samael is prepared. He has remnants, so it's a little too hard for Liquid to go on them. Bros, this Monkey King and Weaver, you see they're not letting down. They're looking to just keep trying well, to fight. Samael. OG responding. Doing an excellent job of, of getting the catches, indeed. This 
Yeah, McKay Monkey King farming in a bit of a precarious area. They did have a ward down, Liquid, so I guess he just felt a little safer than he was in that area. They, they right. want to try to get some more tower on pressure because they haven't even really hit this one. Now for a mid one. Ah, that's the brutal combo there. The silence into the stun. There's no chance for a grave. Samel will be able to find the grab onto Tiger as he dives under the tower. So a trade is found. OG seeing if they can push in for more. Samael, he's got the slight chains combo, ready to go again. Gets the connection onto Insania. Another setup from Samael. The buyback. ice pass flies through. Insania will die. Double buyback coming out from Liquid as they look to turn. They'll find Saxa with the roar. It is just the Rubik, though. Ideally, with this two buybacks, they need to find something more out of this. But I don't think they will unless Mike can find some sort of connection. He's there with the wraparound. Goes for the stun on Samael, but Samael, he's already picked up the Arcane Rune. He's got enough mana to jump out with the Remnant. Samael is fine. Tiger going in with a deep snowball move here. He's now starting to tick down low. Another remnant in. Already he falls. OG Nota had the damage. Well, Seb. All right, they'll take it. Poxy's in with the raw. Seb surrounded and instantly walks into his death. Lift quit. They're going to start hunting for more in the trees. They'll finally catch on an hotel with the shards. Already Mickey starting to play around with mid one as liquid. They've caught OG very broken up. And they're going to get the kills because of this. Mip one he'll slowly but surely fall. The grave will only buy him some time. Boxy's the one to claim the triple kill. As OG, they just were not ready for that. Liquid just uh, sort of just awkwardly walked into each other, and Liquid just ended up killing all three of them. That was like the most perfect smoke ever. They literally caught Seb as he gets his Atos TPing in. He just gets instantly killed. Now Soxa has Shikuchi, but he's likely yep. to go down too. Shards are on point from Tiger. Saxa cannot get out in time. Because he's going to try for No-Tail, but No-Tail's got back up with him. And a bit of an ambitious attempt there from Boxy with the roar. No-Tail's going to be saved by the grave, and Boxy's going to die for that attempt. Seb does get low to Tiger and Insania, but there's no further follow-up from the two of them. Mikkei, does he want to commit to try and finish this kill? He's revving up the ultimate. The Soulbind's out. They'll lay him down with a boundless strike. Seb's getting low. They'll get the kill. It's a double for Mikkei. Over to mid one. They go in with the snowball, cancelling the TP. They'll get a third kill. Liquid will manage to get out on top of that trade. They do end up losing Tiger at the end of it all to the Poison Touch. Koikfa having a spectacular game so far. 9-0 and zero on Koikfa too. And no tail. Looking to be pretty dead. Oh, soon to make that turn and zero oh. if they want to commit for it. Oh, we're quite full there, back over. Actually, well, boys, a little scared now that Samael's around. The army is coming in onto no -Tail, but it's not enough to kill him. no -Tail's actually wow. going to be able to get away from Boxy's army. As the rest of OG there to protect him from the animals. Now, Seb. Seb's going to be the one left behind. Boxy leads in with a roar. Seb's relatively tanky. Tiger's going to roll across. Can they burst him down? They're bringing him low. Seb still alive. Finally falls. The balance strike from Mickey comes out. As after cleaning up some He's ready to move over. Join the rest of Liquid to finish off the remainder of OG. Saxa tries for the TP. But Quikfa finds him with the Shikuchi. Only mid one able to get out alive. Everybody else died. This is looking really problematic for OG. I don't really know how they're going to be able to respond for this, but it's going to have to be some miraculous fight. I'm going to try and have a bit of a poke onto Mickey. They do Maybe manage to how. bring him down. Yeah, Mickey just caught on the front. The rest of Liquid already bailing. They're, they're out of there. And maybe Samel could try and hunt for more. He's moving in with the Remnant. Tries to find someone with the slight chains, but all he gets is half of the half of the Beastmaster's army. He rolled into the enemy team. And you can't save versus pit because you can't actually like blink into the pit and snowball because you're rooted. Yeah. So it's, it's a, one of those really hard ones to actually try to protect this Insania. He's also getting found out here. Yeah, Liquid just getting caught sort of separate in, in ways that you wouldn't have expected it. I think, you know, Mickey dying like that with the rest of his team sort of sitting back and watching was... Liquid are heading over. They do have a pretty excellent team fight around the pit, so OG's got to hurry this up if they want to get away with it. It's getting low. Boxy's going to go with a roar onto Saxa on the side of it all. Seb forces his way out of the pit. They'll look over towards Tiger. Tiger affected by the cold feet. They'll kill off the Tusk as well as the Grimstrap. Both supports down. Tusk buys back. Quite for committing with the BKB. Looking for No-Tail, but Mid-1's there with the Grave. Another heal, and the, the, the mech No-Tail's going to be able to stay alive. Only sacks are going down, so a two-for-one trade. Buybacks obviously coming out from both supports. So they really want to try and contest this Roche. Liquid, they're straight back into the pit. The Roshan's falling low. Is there going to be any intervention from OG? There is not. Liquid, they'll get the Roche kill, and they'll get the Aegis. This is OG. Just have to be careful of their positioning, how alone they are. He's just walking in. He's found Tiger. Again, Liquid, after a great play, they sort of split up, and suddenly heroes start to fall. Tiger goes down, and OG, they've got the mid lane moving in. See so if they want to try and push down this tier 2, of course it will be into Mickey and his Aegis and also a, a very close to BKB Monkey King.
Koifer's able to find No Tail, picks him off down bottom as No Tail was trying to soak up some level and some farm. He does have that one. Foxy gets spotted. Seb is able to slide in. Cancel that TP with the pip. Using the raw, Box is going to try and bring down Saxa with him. Saxa's getting low, but mid one's around to offer the sustain. A quick pop of the heal and Saxa will be fine. Boxy still lives though for now. He Pit's going to be back up in a second. Boxy. Seb to blink out. Mickey's there with the backup. Jumps in onto mid one. Seb's decided it's time to get out of it. And with a force to the side, he will. Saxa, can he get him range in time? He can. Saxa will be taken back with Seb to safety. To deal much damage at all through the magic community. They just have no control for them either. And they're elusive heroes as Koifa. He has the BKB and now they've got the Soulbind. They have the two-man side. Let's look at the two of them down. Samael's trying to get that bug off him. He cannot do so in time. Both Samael and Seb will fall. And now Liquid can collapse on the remainder of OG. No Tail will also go down. As we're seeing, yeah, Koifa, if he can press BKB, he is going to live every single fight. And we're seeing that in the numbers. 14-0-7 on the Midweaver this game. Look, would have given up a couple kills here and there, but overall, they've kept their composure. Now when they're in, die forward, the roar. Foxy just commits straight away with the roar on to Midbon. Midbon's gone over towards Saxa. They turn. He's silenced Mickey trying to dive in for this one. And with the slow from Insania, they'll get it. Two kills behind the tier threes. They'll resume pushing. This game is getting closer and closer to just looking to be a little too much for OG's draft to deal with when playing behind. They're down 14k, they're going to lose this bottom melee racks. And their only real scaling core that's in an okay position is Samael. The, the mid-dazzle and the offlane underlord are going to struggle to offer much now against the, this push that Liquid can offer with their BKBs. Yeah, I think, with the, I think the panel was talking about a lot too, is how like OG's draft is a lot about like early and mid-game. And they've fallen up very far behind in this mid game. To, to have some sort of lockdown before the BKBs come out. Uh, but before that, Hex is going to be there. That Lincolns will be complete. Mid lane, they'll look for the lead in onto Seb. Seb trying to keep himself alive with the Ghost Scepter. Buys him a little bit of time. Still though, Mickey's trying to close the gap. Jumps in deep over to the two of them. There's the Raw, splitting them apart. The Soulbind destroying both mid one and Saxa. Seb cannot get out in time. Three dead on OG. Liquid are definitely through free to just run down mid, take this tier two, and almost certainly more. Samel has been found with a boundless strike, does have a remnant up. Tiger will follow through with the Sobel pretty deep, gets the punch up, Koifer's in on top of Samel. Samel, he throws up the, the uh, remnant out, but his mana, away. it's gone. Samel is dead. He'll buy back. OG still trying to hold on, but this game one looking pretty grim for them as Liquid, they managed to play this in a way with cause that OG's lineup just wasn't prepared to deal with the lane setup, the mid lane and the top, this mid weaver and this safe lane monkey king. They had a dream start and you're seeing it now in the performance. 31 minutes in, two sets of racks to their advantage in a 23k lead. I mean, we're, we're seeing how good it, it really can be. I mean, it just makes sense, right? You know, this here, if you get that, those early levels, that solo XP, you know, the Shikuchi are hurt. You're able to do so much from an early level, and you're such a user to deal with. Mikke finding a beautiful jump in into the middle of four members of OG. Saxa goes down. Samel and Seb having to try their best to retreat, but Seb, he's shut in by the igloo. There'll be a buyback from mid one. OG still desperately trying to get something going their way, but I do not see it happening as the dive comes in from Liquid, taking out No Tail. Samel again in trouble. The silence from Insania. The Ink Swell as well. He tries to close the gap on mid one. The root will hold in place. Samel, he gets another slide of fist out, but he will fall up inside his own base. And there we have it. They'll tap out. It is enough for OG in this game. One is liquid. They come in with some smart strats, and it proves to be super effective. 44 to 18, 27k gold lead. This game, it was all liquid. OG's going to have to come back with something totally different in game two.